So in order to use anything that uses Focus, OPC, MT Connect, your FANUC controller is going to have to be set up uh, for Focus. It's a fairly easy process. We'll go through it now on an FS0 ID. The first thing we're going to check, does this control have Focus? It's an option. Not every control will have it. We'll hit the system hard key and we'll go to the continuous menu soft key until we find the Ethernet interfaces. This particular Zero ID has three interfaces. We have an embedded port, a LAN port, PCMCIA LAN, and an Ether board. Four of these three interfaces, the Ether board is the most reliable. It's an additional piece of hardware added on the control. Uh, it has its own buffer, it has its own processor, so there's no delays in transferring information. The While well, under the Ether board, what we're looking for is this Focus 2 soft key. If we have this Focus 2 soft key, we are in business. We're going to be able to use MT Connect with this control without purchasing additional hardware or options. Now to make this setup, first we're going to want to be in MDI mode. We're going to want to turn parameter write enable on. That's accessed by the offset setting hard key setting soft key. With parameter write enable on MDI mode, we'll go back to our Etherboard common soft key. This is where our IP address and subnet mask are set. These should be provided by your network specialist to put your CNC on the network. The, uh, this particular case, our IP address and subnet mask and router were supplied by the network admin and it's on the same network as this computer so we can't change it. If we change it we'd lose the display and the video would be ruined. The Focus 2 portion on the Focus 2 soft key, we're going to set the port number, the TCP port number, to 8193. It can use any TC, valid TCP port number, but typically you'll see 8193. A lot of FANUC documentation alludes to 8193 for the TCP port. Word to the wise, do not set the UDP port number. The UDP port number um, tends to create a lot of broadcast messages on your uh, Ethernet network. Unless you're using a function that uses the UDP port, leave it set to zero, avoid those broadcast problems. So now that our control is set up, yes, it is set up, it was that easy, we can ping the controller and make sure that uh, the computer on the same network receives the ping. As long as it receives the ping, enjoy MT Connect. Thanks. Bye.